Good morning in the morning. Good morning, sweetheart. Good morning. Hi. Good morning to you guys. We are getting ready to start today. This is basically our routines in the morning, every day. We have to fight with the cat every morning because he just wants to do crazy stuff. He just threw all our stuff on the floor and now we have to pick up after him. It's like living with a toddler, but this toddler, he doesn't hear you. You wanna smell this? Oh. This is one of my favorite scents ever. <laughs> so good. So, so good. That's good coffee. <laughs> so, in most of the morning, it's teamwork between Rodrigo and me. Like, for example, I prepare the coffee, Rodrigo prepares the breakfast, or the other way around. But actually, there are also many mornings where only one of us does everything. Most of the time, I don't have breakfast, I just have coffee. <laughs> I think I'm not awake yet. My, my English is still a little... <laughs> we need coffee! Exactly. On this episode of Cooking with Rodrigo... <laughs> this is, this are you imitating what I do to you? <laughs> yeah, this is, this is what you always do with me. Like a, like a funny little voiceover. <laughs> Welcome to Cooking with Rodrigo. Today we're gonna to prepare some scrambled eggs. The first thing that we need are some eggs. After we get the eggs, we crack them, we crack them open, we put it on a plate, and then we can start preparing our scrambled eggs. For preparing scrambled eggs, I usually use a little bit of salt. I put a little bit of salt on my eggs, and after that, a little bit of pepper. Lo lots of pepper. Lots of pepper, please. Pepper is ready. Now we just put this in the pan. Mm. Scrambled so. eggs are ready. What kind of cooking is that? Who's gonna fight? Who's gonna fight? Who's gonna fight? Who's gonna fight? Tickles for the cat! <laughs> Tickles for the cat! Seems like we want to stay here today. I need some grass right in front of the house. Good boy, stay there. I know that a lot of you are wondering why do we have the goats tied with a rope and next to a bucket? Well, we have a lot of plants here in the farm and we have flowers, we have some fruit trees, we have coffee plants like this one right here and these goats they love eating absolutely everything so if we just have them running around for free we can be sure that we're not gonna have plants anymore in the farm look at this beautiful boy hi baby it's such a happy, morning, dog. Boy. happy dog Mama. should i tell you a secret what is that since yesterday we have a new inhabitant living on lola's farm hi my favorite farmer what are you up to? I'm gonna feed some chickens. Nice. This is the new mama. Oh my god. She's the mama since yesterday. Oh my god. Yeah. It's like an exact clone of her. Yeah, and it's incredibly tiny. Hey, puppies. Puppies, leave him. Go easy. Is it him? Is it he or her? I don't know. Easy. But compared, like this little goat, compared to so these little babies here, how are, how are you doing? Beautiful twins. <laughs> it's a girl. It's a girl. It's not a Hi. little girl. And she's <gasps> so soft. Oh my We're God. We're keeping this one. Oh, you're We're 100% so keeping this one. You're so beautiful. Look at that cute little, little face. Oh, she's so small. Oh. The twins look so much bigger compared to that one. Oh wow, I never did hold a baby. Ooh. 
God, it's so cute and tiny. Can 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 we have a, a new like roommate in our house? No. I want to have a new roommate. Hundred percent no. We're not bringing a goat to the bed. Yeah, not to the bed, but downstairs in the house. Honey, every animal you bring to the house ends up sleeping in our bed, and I no, have to sleep in the couch. No, that's not true. They sleep on the floor. No. Yes. Woo! Good morning, greenhouse. Do you want to have something like this? Yeah. I think ours is not that big. Oh yeah, ours is maybe not even half of it, to be honest. Uh, wow. Beautiful Mumu girl. Wow. Well, she's getting so big. Look at the horse. Yeah, true. She's a real lady now. She isn't a girl anymore. I love you, Sadie. <laughs> <laughs> <Yes. Aww. laughs> Mario, <laughs> Mario. <laughs> Hello. I can't close the door. Today we are going to work in the greenhouse. And Rodrigo has to explain what we are going to do. Because I have no idea to be. You're general manager of this. I project. know that I'm the general. Come here. I like. Yeah, I know. I'm the general manager, but I'm the one that has to do all the work. But you are the architect and the engineer and. I am manual. Yeah. The I'm manual labor. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. So today we are going to work in the greenhouse, and the first things that we need to do are going to be fixing some things that are kind of loose over here there's another thing over there this wall I think it's also pretty 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 loose so yeah this is going to be the first step for now Got something for you, beautiful boy. I know that you love these. I know that you love these. Whatever this is. I have had this greenhouse for quite a while now. I actually built it, if I'm not wrong, it was in 2022. And I've only used it a few times. I grew some beans in here, and all the wood that is in here was cured before placing it, so most of it is in perfectly good condition. I only had to replace a few pieces that were broken because the water got in there. And I think it's only this piece over here, the one that I have to replace. Everything else looks pretty looks good. Pretty good, yeah. Thank you. What about this one sock on and one sock off thing? <laughs> Can you please explain that? Because many people were All right. interested. This is a new style, this is a new <laughs> fashion thing. You guys didn't see it anywhere before and you saw that I started a trend, so <laughs> I can say that I started a trend. <laughs> I had an injury on my right foot because I was playing soccer and instead of hitting the soccer ball, I hit a rock. Yeah. And then I had a little uh, Just a band -aid. big, a, a big scratch on the... Big scratch yeah. in there. So I had a band-aid in there and to hold the band-aid into place while I was working, I had to put a sock on. Yeah. That's why I had a sock. And on. usually like you wanted to work barefoot or you, you were barefoot. walking around barefoot, but you needed to wear this one sock. Yep. So now, everybody knows. It's time to place the mesh. This Ooh. is the mesh that we're gonna use. It's a breathable mesh. And we're gonna use this because we have, we don't have a good ventilation in the greenhouse right now. So once we have this, we're gonna have a whole side which is gonna be breathable. And I was reading that 
Ventilation is essential in the greenhouses for plants to grow well, so we're going with this. The greenhouse repairs are complete. We secured the mesh down and we use some of these waterproof, kind of like streamline. This is waterproof and then we use some construction staples and we put this, the gap of the staple in between the rope. So the, the staples are holding the rope and the rope is holding the mesh. We have faced so much troubles every time that we work with any kind of screws, staples or anything straight to the surface. To structural beams like that because the wind just breaks it because it's metal but with a rope the technique I hope it really works the repairs are all complete we finished placing the mesh up there we just tied it up with some of this rope we actually went with a rope and some little staples these actually they're not little staples these are construction staples pretty pretty strong we went with that all around all on this side and the reason why we went with this little rope and the staples over it is because we have had so much trouble with these little staples straight over the plastic or whatever we put down because the wind just pulls it out and then it just rips apart the plastic or whatever it's underneath and this time we're attempting with this technique the rope is holding down the mesh and the staples are holding down the rope hopefully this is not gonna break We are also working on some of these elevated beds. We're gonna have some of these things hanging right on this wall. And over there, we're gonna have all the little herbs, spices and stuff. That's gonna be basically the herbs and spices centuarium. Since we don't have that much space here inside of a greenhouse, we have to maximize and get creative with every single corner. It just started to rain. Actually, it looks quite sunny outside, but it's raining and I'm very happy that we can work inside the greenhouse right now. We're going to get wet in here, but for now, we are safe. You know how this yeah. you know what they say when when it's um, raining and sunny yeah. in my culture? Yeah. Here in Panama, yeah. in Latin America in general, I guess. Yeah. That a witch is getting married. Ooh, I didn't know that. One of the biggest problems we have had here in the farm since we started building greenhouses is that we get so much water during the rainy season that the water finds its way inside of greenhouses and it washes away all the soil with all the nutrients and to solve that problem we're going to do some raised bed we are building these boxes and we're going to fill them up with dirt so we don't have that problem of the water just washing away our entire crops
So for today we have got one of these elevated thingies for planting all over little herbs and stuff and we also have one of the raised beds right there. We still have to fill it up with dirt but that's not happening today because we have to go get some plants. Wow, did you see the rainbow? Up there. Wow. It's, it's a double rainbow. What? It's oh a double, yeah, did you see it? Double rainbow and I have a cat <laughs> on my shoulder. Is this the first time he's doing that? Oh uh, no, he does it sometimes. It looks like street cat named Bob. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Hi. His name is Bob. This is, by the way, a very, very cute movie. <laughs> and like it's a book. It was a book originally, but cute story. Wow, this rainbow over there is insanely beautiful. That oh, was getting, getting. Let's go get some plants. Here. Oh, I'm so excited. This is like chopping. Yeah. Better than chopping, actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> awesome. <laughs> Honey, yeah. welcome to paradise. I have to come back with my mom because she <laughs> loves, she loves all kinds of plants. We have got the plants. We've got a bunch of them, but no, it's dark outside, so we can plant them. We'll plant <laughs> them tomorrow. Welcome to day two of renovating a greenhouse. Today we'll be planting all this stuff. I'm honestly in love with this pink flower. This is not any kind of herbs, fruit or anything like that, but it just looks so beautiful that I couldn't resist and I got it. First of all, we have to finish the raised bed so we can also start planting some vegetable seeds. The structure for the raised beds is complete, check that out. Now we just have to fill that up with dirt, but before, I'm just realizing now that I can add at least two more of those pipes in there and have way more space for all the little herbs that we wanna put in that corner. So I've got some of the pipes. We have some leftover pipes right here. So we just have to cut them open and put caps in the end to fill it up with dirt and put some plants in there. In the greenhouse itself, everything is ready now. The pipes are assembled, and now it's time to fill these framings. This framing, I don't know, <laughs> to fill it with some soil. And in order to collect some soil, we have to go deep down in the jungle <laughs> to get. Woo, it's pretty steep over here to get some some dirt from down there. Hi, are you on a mission? We are gonna hunt some dirt in the jungle. <laughs> okay, let's go. I will follow you. I've got a shovel. 
Oh, and there's a Moki. <laughs> hey, Moka, you want to help us? Good girl. Hi, baby. Let's go. Go, Moka. I will follow you. <laughs> no, you want to have cuddles, right? Go, Moka. I will follow you. Good job. We are going to be using the most natural and organic composted soil that you could ever find is this first layer in the soil of the jungle. This is just pieces of rotten leaves, pieces of rotten wood, dead little insects and animals. This is so rich in nutrients and the forest creates it in order to feed itself and we're going to steal a little bit of it. Great. It's gonna take a long time. Come here. Hi. That's Rodrigo old home. Can you believe that? That he lived in here? Somebody's coming out of the jungle. Oh. Honey, I got the dinner. <laughs> I mean this soon will we will be responsible for our dinner. Yup. This is so steep. Yeah. Woo! -hoo. Oh. Is it going in? No. Doesn't fit. Oh no. <laughs> okay, so we have to try, like, use. We have to manually dump it in the vets. Yeah. Okay, okay so let's extra go. Work. I'm so dusty but here we are with our herbs and I'm super excited to finally grow some things in here yeah we got a bunch of good herbs yeah. in here we have rosemary oregano thyme parsley mint and I don't know what that is to be honest we still don't know what this is <laughs> but but we already have a good yeah this is like a medicinal stuff as well so yeah we're gonna do we're gonna be doing some what's that thing called some healing yeah. things. You know, holds, holds the guy that does a healing with the leaves. I have no idea. In Spanish, we call him chaman, but I don't know. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, is that how it's called? Yeah. I mean, We're gonna be doing that stuff over here. Yeah, maybe we can just drink, like, do some tea with it. Or... <laughs> Let's go. Let's do some planting. Wow, this is already looking so cute. It changes, thank you so much, the whole greenhouse. We also don't know what that one is. So if anybody knows, Here we go. First patient is planted. What do you think? Well, it smells so good now. <laughs> that time smells oh, yeah. so good. It really does. I'm just a little bit afraid that the space is not really. I think it's, it's big enough. I mean, yeah, they can go like this. To the sides, yeah. But it's not, I mean, I don't know, like this tiny plant, how big I, it gets. I think I, it's gonna be fine. I have to do some research. Okay, next one. Oh, it smells so good. Insane. <sighs> this bad baby behind us is a biogas. This produces cooking gas and also it produces liquid fertilizer right here. This is filled up with cow poop and then we put all our kitchen scrap right on this entrance. It kind of breaks down inside there with the cow poop and it comes out here as a liquid and then that's what we use as a liquid fertilizer. We usually mix it around three parts of water, two parts of the liquid fertilizer depending on what the use is and it works pretty well for us. No, we just water this stuff. The good thing about doing it like this, one on top of the other, is that the water that drains through the holes here falls on the next one underneath and the water keeps kind of like recycling until it goes all the way to the bottom and it goes down to the vets. 
Raj, what do you think about our beautiful plants over here? You like it? Raj, that's our catnip. Leave it. <laughs> He's just smelling it. He likes it. He it's eucalypt eucalyptus? Yeah. Eucalyptus? Eucalyptus. Oh, eucalyptus. Are you a little kangaroo? <laughs> and then we have this beauty over here. This beauty. If you thought that we were done, well, we still have more plants. Down here, we're gonna put all the grassy looking things, like the herbs. So we got this, I think this is called valerian. This is like a sleepy grass. We use it to sleep better. It smells, it stinks when it's dry. Yeah. Uh, but it it's really stinks. good. <laughs> we got some lemongrass in here. I don't remember this what. This is lemongrass. No, this is lemongrass. I think this is lemongrass. No, this is the valerian. This is lemongrass. Okay. And this one, uh, we don't know. We just know that it's a yeah. medicinal plant. Where's Roger? Oh. I think he went somewhere. Look at him. No, he's in the... He thinks it's a giant litter yeah. box. Outside here we also have some decorative plants. It's a, it's a called decorative plant. Why is he doing it? I there? already planted. Uh, I already Harvest. harvested something. Cut. Yeah. Look at his little paw. I think he just believes that that's a giant cat litter box, and he just he's gonna do his business in there. But out here we've got some plants as well. We got some eucalyptus. This one is too big to plant it inside. We also have some flowers in here. This one, uh, I think it only blossoms on the dry season. We call it Veranera. And over here, we got another flower. This is orange. And we don't know the name. Mm, no. For any, uh, like, if you know what that is, <laughs> please tell us in the comments. <laughs> that would be amazing. But we also have some seeds in here, which we're gonna attempt to plant in here one by one. Um, we know that we should create a nursery first for these plants but the thing is that for that we need some sort of special organic soil that we need to get somewhere um, in order to make it just like give it that first little boost and we don't have it now so we're just gonna go ahead and experiment with planting it straight in the soil and we just try we basically want to try with maybe one seed of each because we know that our space is not really or that we don't really have lots of space and for example the zucchinis they just become giant so maybe we just start with one zucchini thing as an experiment and then we will see what happens in the next weeks okay how about the zucchini how do we plant that mm, this little book says <laughs> oh my god i feel kind of ashamed because mom mommy <laughs> please don't <laughs> <laughs> Please don't judge me. Um, yeah, 36 inches apart and cover with one inch of fine soil. Yep. And then I just cover it like this. You want to do some bell pepper? Yeah. Um, bell pepper. Start pepper plants indoors about 8 to 10 weeks before transplanting. <laughs> we are uh, skipping that step. <laughs> yeah, but it's it, this is for like, for um, I get... I think uh, I guess regions where you still have frost and we never okay. have frost here because in this book They always talk about plant after frost. How far apart? Space the plants 18 inches apart Yeah, because of course like in a colder area um, you need to you, you need to plant them in little containers first in the house at home. Yeah, some sort of nursery. Yeah, but this is just an experiment. This is probably not gonna work, but we're willing to risk it. Yeah. Just to know, just to see if we can plant stuff straight in the soil without having to create a nursery first. We will eventually have a nursery. We just are pretty short on space right now, so we, we really need to think about it. So I guess this is it, our greenhouse. <laughs> yeah, yeah, our greenhouse is gonna start popping in a few days or weeks. We already have Fingers some crossed. of the sprouts in there. 
Wow, this is looking so cool. I can't wait for the first, uh, I have something in my eye to be honest, for the first cooked meal with fresh herbs. I'm ready to harvest. Yeah, it's too. gonna take a few months, me but too. I'm ready to harvest. Me too. <laughs> oh, we built a greenhouse. We rebuilt a greenhouse and yeah. it's now functioning, producing food in there. That's gonna be awesome once we can use grab our food straight from the greenhouse, bring it to the house, cook it in the kitchen. That is what being self-sustainable is about. Almost forgot the wooden chips. These wooden chips are from when we built the wood bathroom. This is a residues from the wood for a countertop of the sink and I decided to save it because I knew that I could use it later on. And now we are using it for our soil. I have read that this thing is very good for keeping the soil kind of like slightly wet and also keep the humidity levels on an average. Most of the time after you water it, it kind of like absorbs the water and it let it out little by little into the soil which helps to keep all the plants watered for even longer at least that's what I read good morning in the morning I'm on my way to water our plants the first morning now I have to remind myself to do it every day and never skip it or forget it uh, so far, we don't have a, I actually don't know how it's called in English, this green thing that you use for watering plants. Yesterday we had to borrow it from Kaylee. <laughs> so I guess later or tomorrow we should buy one of those. But now let's water the plants. The plants got some water and now I'm actually super excited and curious if we will be able to harvest something in a few weeks. So fingers crossed <laughs> that this worked out. This is it for today's video. Thank you so much for your support guys. We really really appreciate that. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done it yet and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!